Hi friends. I am going to demonstrate to you uh, the suturing techniques, how to perform the surgical suturing. The basic unit is a surgical needle. Needle, uh, you, may, you may know that uh, they are of many types, maybe straight, cutting. So this is the curved, half curved and cutting needle with, a, with an eye. So I have uh, put a thread in the eye of the needle. So it is a traumatic needle because this eye may cause the trauma while piercing through the tissue. A traumatic needle uh, does not uh, contain this eye and the thread is inserted in the uh, at one end and that is when it is passed through the tissue there is less trauma. The second thing is the needle holder. The needle holder is just like a hemostat but it contains a furrow like that. It contains a furrow over here. The needle is held, needle is held with forceps. The margin of the skin or the tissue is held with the help of this tooth forceps and this is the fine scissor. Now what the care should be taken while making the suturing, there are many types of suturing. Just first I am demonstrating the simple suture, simple interrupted suture. So while making the how to hold the needle holder. First just like that yeah some people hold this needle holder like that but it is a better way that you can support this needle holder very well so first step just before making the suturing this care must be taken that the bite on the both side of the edges should be same. If I am going to prick the needle at a distance of 5 mm from here, then it should come out the, at the exact 5 mm distance from the wound edges. Otherwise, there is the difficulty. Uh, if we don't, uh, if we don't follow this rule, then there may be the inversion or uh, of the skin edges. Moreover, the depth on both sides should be the same. So first, just held the margin of uh, the skin and then pierce the needle just like that and then hold the needle and the needle should come out at the equal distance. Then while coming out the needle, the tissue should be supported. Then gradually the tissue should be supported. Yes. Then the first knot should be just like that. Just held the margin of the thread and your left hand should move away from you and the needle holder towards you so that the knot is going in the right direction. If it is not, suppose some people what they do, if you move the needle holder in opposite direction then you can see that the knot is, you can see this is the difference and if you going like that then it is the distortion of the knot. The knot won't be a fit type of surgical knot. So this is the bad, this is the ideal way, this is the wrong way. Yeah. Then fix the knot. There is no need to uh, to make too tight to this knot because we just approximating the skin wound. We are not uh, making it too tight. There is no need to occlude the blood, uh, blood supply. Yes. So this is the first knot. In the same way, we just make a reverse loop and by doing this, yeah, 
like that. So again, the care must be taken that the node it should not be at the wound margin. It would should remain at one side of the cut skin margin. So this is the ideal node. There is no need to give um, many type many nodes. Only the primary and secondary node is sufficient. So this is the ideal thing. 